Hey there guys, how's it going for today? A new type of video today, I'm doing EDH tips. Alright, so today we are doing some EDH tips. Um, so this is a very much shorter sort of series. Uh, just going to go through like putting out uh, a bunch of these like various like maybe under a minute or two videos and just like have one or two little tips um, to sort of discuss fairly quickly for the most part um, in these little videos so hopefully it's uh, helpful uh, today's tip is to put uh, great cards in you sometimes have to uh, cut good cards so this is one of those things that happens quite a lot when you're deck building you go well this card is a good card but unfortunately it's not quite good enough um, and it gets beaten out by these other cards especially when new cards come out uh, and you've had a card in there for quite a while it's like very hard to be like letting go in a way of like a card and be like well it's a decent card and it's a good card and it can do some stuff but unfortunately i've probably got to cut it because this other card just does more of what i kind of want let's take a very specific example just fairly quickly is just like um felida sovereign i think it is um i think it is i think that's the card but anyway it's um this five mana cat that basically is a four five and whenever you hit an opponent you draw a card um that used to be a fairly decent uh, oh actually it's keeper of fables i remember the name but anyway it's it's a fairly decent card and it was all right for a little while but then like toski came out like orin frostfang came out those two cards basically did what that was doing but did it better and then you get other cards like auger of autumn and cards like this that are just like yeah sure they're not strictly exactly the same and yes you do have to have that little bit of a build around but again that whole you've got to take good cards out to put better cards in sometimes is just one of those things it's like yes uh, Oren Frostfang is way better because it's like, well, now I have Death Touch on my stuff, so now my stuff is more difficult to block, especially if I have Trample and things like that. So it just edges that card out, and then Toski comes out, and then it's like, well, this is the same thing, but on a cheaper body. And then you get some other cards that are in other colors, like Edric and other cards like that, and some more specific cards. But again, those cards... Um, edge those other cards out or you get cards that are like when it in a creature enters the battlefield or when you cast a creature you draw a card so those cards edge cards like this out so to again just reiterate the point again you've got to cut good cards to put better cards in um and it's just one of those things is where it's unfortunate and again like you can play any way you choose to and you can go well I'm not going to upgrade my deck that much, but again, if you want to continue like your deck going forward uh, later on, it's like, well, now I'm even further behind the rest of my playgroup because if the rest of your playgroup's going to upgrade with these cards, you're going to just get left behind because they've got better cards, more efficient cards, uh, and what not than what you do so it's just not one of those things that you can realistically like cross your fingers to hope that this will you know like work out or whatever for you so you've got to make good deck decisions as well sometimes or you can just say to, hey to your power level or to your play group or whatever hey by the way and, you know i haven't upgraded this deck in like a while and i just don't want to can we all play some less powerful decks some more janky decks or whatever but again for the most part like when you're upgrading decks you're going to run into this issue uh where you're just like i've got to cut some good cards because you know there are some better cards that i could be using but 
Anyway, again, that's pretty much it for uh, this video. Again, I wanted to make these as quick as I sort of could. Quick little discussion about a little tip or a little trick or a little thing that, you know, might help some people. So, you know, tell me what you think of this uh, series. Do you want to see more of these EDH tips? Uh, let me know your thoughts. Write them down there in the comments below, and I'll be sure to try to uh, reply to all of you. Thanks so much for commenting if you do. Hey, you've just finished watching one of our videos. A bunch of other videos are popping up on your screen now for you to check out, so why not check them out?